Welcome back to Leroy Heritage Museum's building project here at the hotel. And this is Matt Caro, and it's been a long time since we've done a video update as to what we've been doing in the hotel building. And things have changed quite a bit. And so we're gonna do a walkthrough to give you uh, an idea of uh, where we're at. And uh, first of all, we're starting out here in the main exhibit room, which we also call the store. And uh, a lot has changed in here. As you can see, um, the drywall has been finished in this room and uh, painting has been done. And so the final color is on the wall in here. And uh, when you look at the ceiling, uh, the ceiling is white and you can see the, the finish uh, color there as well. Now we've been moving things back and forth in order to uh, make room for the painter to get around and, and get uh, work done. And so we have moved a lot of things into uh, this room while we are working on other spaces. But you can uh, see the new paint all around. And uh, so this room is going to have another coat of paint on the walls but uh, the ceilings uh, the ceiling is done uh, it took several coats of paint to cover all of the uh, mess that was on the ceiling we had as you might remember uh, stained ceiling as well as lead paint on the ceiling and uh, just all sorts of things uh, going on so we were able to get that all covered up and i think it really turned out great and uh, it it's hard to see right now where the lights will be because they've been covered up with uh, tape, tape and painted over. But um, we will be putting uh, reproduction, historic reproduction lights in here that will hang from the ceiling and have uh, globe, large globes. Um, I believe they're referred to as schoolhouse lights usually in the restoration catalogs but um, they'll, they'll be a little bit bigger than what uh, we're down to the other building that we did. But they will hang in here, um, four down one side and then uh, one on each side of this center handicapped restroom. And then there will be uh, track lights that go around the ceiling. And so that's one of the next things that we want to get done. And right now we have uh, started our annual campaign for the year. And uh, if you're interested in sponsoring one of those lights that will be hanging from the ceiling here or in the ballroom, you can do that with a gift of $500. And uh, there will be a plaque in each of uh, the ballroom and one in this room that will have the donors for each respective room. So uh, if you're interested in that, um, you can contact us for more information. But uh, we've really made great strides in this room. And uh, once the second coat of paint gets on, uh, we will be putting lights up, we will be doing finished trim work and uh, getting um, exit signs and emergency lighting put up and so on and so the last thing that will be um, done is the floor the hardwood floor and so we're looking for money to be able to do that next but that will be the last thing in this room hardwood floor and baseboard so we're really pleased with how this room has come if you remember back in the corner back here where this was all torn out in uh, one of our past videos and we had to do a lot of repair. That really turned out great. And uh, you can't even tell now that anything even uh, had been done. So it's a great improvement over where it started. So of course also the handicapped restroom that is here and that has also been painted as well and uh, so we've been moving things around so in here we have the door that goes back on uh, the former dining room what will be the gift shop 
and uh, I haven't shown that in any video because we have had that door taken off and protected for quite a while so that uh, the glass here would not get broken but um, we're excited to be able to be putting that back on hopefully soon and then of course the door that goes back on the bathroom here matches the older doors in the house So up above here you can see where the outline is for the front doors that we left. Now you can get an idea of what we were trying to accomplish with that. We have um, painted that so that it blends in with the ceiling and yet you can still see the outline of where the doors had been. And so that really turned out um, perfect. So we're fortunate to have that done as well. So we will turn around and we will head out into the hallway. And again, it's uh, nice to have new paint on. Now out in the hallway, we have uh, just primer on the walls and ceiling now, but this, the same color that's in the main exhibit room will carry on throughout the rest of the house <clears throat> as well. But it's uh, quite a change out in this foyer area uh, because the walls have always been uh, old looking and uh, holes in them and so on since we've been here. And now things have improved quite a bit. So you can see the, the change here just by repainting out here. It's made a big, a big difference in how this area looks. So this will be the entrance to the main exhibit room there. And then through the doorway here, which stands out a lot better because of the new paint. I'll back up so you can get the full view the door that we just looked at that was sitting in the handicapped bathroom we'll be going back on this doorway right here and then we go through this door and this is the gift shop and this is the main entrance will be in that corner where the door is there and so the gift shop again this has been primed and so next the walls will be painted again the same wall color as out in the other room uh, you can see our the storage closet for the gift shop that we added in and uh, that's turned out pretty well that was kind of a last minute uh, idea to add that in and I think that that is blended in perfectly we have a door that matches all the others that is going to be going back into there so it'll look as if it was intended to be there all along so I'll move over to this corner. Uh, we have a piece of the molding on the top there that we have popped off in order to put the drywall up. Now in this room, we have a, a firewall running through here. And so uh, although it doesn't look any different, uh, the wall on the far wall there behind the closet the one there to my left, and also the ceiling is all two layers of 5 8 inch drywall, and that is to form a, a firewall running through there between the caretaker's living quarters and the museum portion. And so because we had to put two layers up on the ceiling, we had to take some molding out and, uh, and uh, fit it back in. We, had to, we still have a piece to go back in there. But uh, once we get that back in, that'll all look uh, perfect again. So we're looking forward to that. And again, once this all gets painted and everything 
gets put back as far as outlets and so on. The next thing in this room will be to do hardwood flooring. And we are uh, raising money hopefully to do that. Uh, that's one of the next things. And one of the final things to be done here inside of the house. So we'll continue on through into the front two rooms. And uh, these two rooms will be a, a rotating exhibit area, so it'll change uh, every year, hopefully, or uh, periodically. And um, so what has happened in here is very little. Um, we had repaired the walls where a uh, closet was added in by the previous owner that we took back out and so that's been repaired and that's been primed and so these rooms again will have the same wall color and then a white ceiling and then other areas that have been repaired uh, have have been primed here and there around the room All of the woodwork is staying as it as it was, and fortunately, it's in good shape. And so, we're excited to get the walls painted so that the woodwork can really stand out again. And then through the uh, pocket doors here into the next room, there is a closet on this side of the door that we took out as well. That was not original, and that's been repaired. And that's been primed there was a door there that has been taken out and so new wall color will be going on in here and then this room uh, will be finished so this entire area will be an exhibit area and uh, we'll close the doors here so you can get an idea of uh, the pocket doors so the idea is that if you wanted to you could have the um, pocket door shut and only have this first room be an exhibit and maybe be changing what's going on in the other room behind this or you can have the uh, pocket doors open all the time and have both rooms available which is probably most likely what will be going on unless we have some sort of a special event maybe around the holidays or something um, but we're excited to have this large space to be able to have um, exhibits that change in our former uh, home we did not really have a lot of room to do uh, large changing exhibits and so now we will have that available and of course uh, we have uh, things that are going to be used in this um, museum building that uh, have been stored here while we've been renovating the building and so under the plastic here you'll see uh, some of those things that uh, has have been stored waiting to be used in the new exhibits here and so we're excited to be able to do to do that um, down here oh, I'm not sure that we've ever been over on this end of the room before in a video that we've done but uh, this was a window previous um, to us getting here and the former owner uh, removed it and put a door there and we removed the door and put the window back and so you can see that the uh, baseboard had to be recreated the molding was all put back on but it, it all looks really nice now and uh, you can barely tell that anything was ever even done so that's the way we hoped it would turn out 
All right, so we will head back out into the foyer and we'll stop and take a look at the stairway because this is a good angle showing the uh, molding on the stairs. And of course we're protecting that while we paint. And now, looking up the stairway, you can see the wall has all been completely redone. You may remember seeing in, in former videos and pictures that that uh, wall was completely ripped open because it was plaster and years ago the roof had leaked and uh, ruined some sections of the plaster. So that was all completely torn out and uh, that was replaced with drywall and is all brand new again and uh, really looks looks a lot better before we go upstairs i will mention that in all of these rooms uh, there will be track lighting on the ceilings uh, gift shop hallway um, and then the front two exhibit rooms so we can um, direct light where we want it to go and uh, in the case of this foyer out here we can direct light toward the stairway and uh, uh, light up that woodwork there. So that's going to look nice when that's done. So you can't see the woodwork going up the stairway right now because it's all uh, covered up uh, for the painting going on. But we're going to go up the stairs. And you'll notice when I'm walking up the stairs that the stairway does not make noise. There might be a few creaks near the top, but we successfully got that fixed so that there is not a lot of racket when you walk up and down the stairs. And then when we get to the top of the stairs, we have everything brand new up here again. So what happened up here is that the ceiling was completely re-drywalled. So what you see is all brand new on the ceiling. And then uh, this wall shown here was re-plastered um, and uh, all done by hand and fixed. So that is still lath and plaster under there, but it was re-skim coated with uh, a mesh material underneath to get rid of all the cracks that had formed from that wall settling over the years. And here you can get a better view of the top of the stairs. And again, on the right side here, this plaster wall was just patched up and, and fixed and that turned out really nice. Again, we have the woodwork covered up to protect that for now but uh, here we are back under the, the tower part of the house and you can see that this has all completely been fixed and this is all new drywall here and then this woodwork around this door will be completely redone and then this corner has a woodwork that goes up and around the top and that will all be put back in place just as it originally had been this door was put in by the previous owners uh, but it's an insulated door and so we have just left that in place and we are going to put original molding around it and the color will be uh, matched to the uh, rest of the doors so it won't uh, stand out And out in the hallway here, we had to fix some parts of the floor that were uh, missing or broken. Um, this, the house had settled at one point in time and popped the flooring up, so that was all repaired uh, through this area. And uh, just about a week or so ago, we went through and completely vacuumed and sweeped this floor down again after all of the dry work, drywall work that was done. It's all back in 
together again and clean. You'll notice there at the top of the uh, stairs here, the woodwork once continued around where this angled wall is. We had to take that off because we put a firewall there. But we numbered each of those pieces and that wainscoting is going to go back on there once the painting is done and hopefully it's going to uh, look like it was never taken off. So we're looking forward to getting that back together. And again down the hallway this entire wall to my left is a firewall and um, there was uh, once a doorway to the left here that uh, went into a hallway that was taken out before we moved here and changed to a bathroom door and then we took that door out and completely closed that off and so this hallway is coming together we have a fire door here on my left into that part of the building but uh, all of the plaster that was cracked and damaged everything has been repaired and again this will have track lighting all all the way down this hall lighting up all of this area to my left here are storage rooms on the front of the building and those are filled right now while we have work going on we have things packed away in there that have been given again many things have been given while we've been doing this project so they haven't been in the actual museum down the street so there'll be a lot of new things to see when we get up here this bathroom we had made changes to we took the sink out of here uh, that was there and put in by the previous owner and uh, while we had it out we had to do a firewall here to my right and we decided not to put a double sink back in like had been in there but we put a, a plumbing for single a vanity right there for this and this bathroom is just getting repainted uh, it already had this marble floor in it and so it's just going to get repainted and this will be all all back together again so this will be a public restroom even though it has a shower in it uh, that's staying for now and this will be ready to be used by the public we're on the second floor it's not considered a handicapped accessible bathroom anyway and so moving on to the ballroom which is up a few steps And a lot of things have changed here as well. We've taken down all the blinds, old blinds in here. And uh, so it's a lot brighter right now. But over in the corner here where the wall had been uh, destroyed by the roof leaking years ago, that was all completely redone. And new drywall in there. And uh, that was all fixed and put back in place so that is all back together now it looks really good and then around the room you'll see that a lot of work has been done in fixing the plaster and getting it ready to be painted again now areas of the plaster that was significantly cracked was totally replaced but what you see here is just hairline cracks that have have been uh, filled. The house has settled a lot over the years. It's pretty much settled as much as it's gonna uh, settle. So we're we're looking at it being greatly improved with uh, many less cracks than it had. But uh, if it cracks uh, more, that's that's fine. It's a character of an old building. Uh, but we eliminated the major damage. So this corner right here was also uh, repaired had a mesh material applied and was re skim coated with plaster so that it would uh, be all new again and then along the walls there are other areas that were cut out and replaced and repaired where 
the roof leaked over the years or um, or the building settled and cracked the plaster but we uh, have fixed everything so I'll go to this corner and turn around and wait for it to focus and again up here we have um, many things stored that will be used in the new museum and that is what's under plastic right now but uh, you can see the ceiling stands out a lot more with all the windows uncovered so that's going to remain just as it was and so we're excited these walls are going to be painted shortly here and within this month all the painting will be done on the inside of the building so we're excited about that we got to clean up these floors and uh, we'll be getting this room back together this room will pretty much be done other than on the back wall there we have to put some wall mounted heating cooling units in to uh, uh, better stabilize the temperature in this room and then there will be some uh, uh, restaining that has to be done on the woodwork um, in parts of this room so that's the ballroom And back in this corner, I showed in some previous videos and, and the photos that uh, this is the section of the floor that we replaced. And so this will be um, completely refinished. This entire floor will be refinished so that everything is restained and matches. And uh, this door we had to add in, the fire escape door that goes out. To the bridge and again the bridge is not a handicapped access it's a it's a place where we can move things into the second floor without having to have an elevator that's the purpose of the bridge i'm asked that quite often um, no it is not a handicapped access bridge although probably someone handicapped could come in that way that is not what it was intended for and code wise that's not what it's uh, intended to be all right, so that gives you a pretty good idea of the public areas of the building and how things are shaping up here. We're working uh, hard to raise the remaining funds we need to finish the building by uh, next July. That's when our um, uh, building permit runs out. As uh, I mentioned before, downstairs, it's mainly the hardwood floor that needs to be installed up here we are going to be refinishing the floors and so that's part of the uh, the funding that needs to be raised for the inside uh, most of the rest of the work is on the outside uh, we have to do some concrete work we have to uh, uh, put some railings up on the side deck uh, repair the front steps and uh, a few other things code related to get us taken care of so once we get that done the building will be ready for us to move the museum here and uh, we're certainly excited about being able to do that in fact this year um, since COVID-19 forced us to close down all year uh, we have been working on getting the uh, current museum uh, organized and start packing things that are in storage and so that's what we've been doing down there and so even though we have not been open um, we have been taking that time to get things packed up and ready to move as soon as we can do it so we're excited about being able to get get that done So we're back to the main foyer again. So thank you again for joining me and uh, for walking through to see where uh, we are with the project. We're excited 
about how far we've come here in uh, almost five years. It'll be five years in November. We've been um, completely redoing this home and making this the new museum for Leroy Heritage Museum. So thanks again for joining me and see you next time.